Dr. Jaffe, should we rotate supplements in and out of our regular regimen? Is there any benefit physiologically? And is there validity to rotating supplements seasonally? A very interesting question. Uh, rotating supplements either seasonally or um, some people will take their supplements five or six days a week and then skip a day. Um, I, I divide folks broadly into two categories, folks who are healthy and those who are recovering. If you're really healthy, then rotating your supplements can be interesting. At the moment, as some of you know, I'm taking a dozen perk supplements on a regular basis because I'm still recovering. And so I would say for most people, they're in the recovering group, and therefore I would not rotate the supplements until you restore high level health. Your biomarkers are all at their best outcome goal values. Your restorative sleep leaves you, you know, rising and shining in the morning. Um, your body uh, from the skin to the inner parts of you all show resilience, repair, ability, lack of inflammation, lack of chronic illness, lack of autoimmunity. Uh, the, the, the category we're talking about would be people who would likely take no prescriptive medicines. But I know people who are quite healthy. They're asymptomatic by the Cornell Medical Index. That's the way you technically measure if someone's healthy. Um, I know people who are healthy, and some of them um, develop the philosophy that you should stress the body every once in a while to keep it fit, to keep it um, optimized. I've looked at the literature about that. I think you can make, uh, you, could, you can form any opinion you want based on reading the literature because there's no absolutely clear answer. But I do know some people who prefer to recognize the seasonality, spring and fall are different than winter and summer. And therefore, for example, they will take much more intensive supplementation in the winter than they do in the summer. And they will increase during times of weather change or stress in the weather, stress in the environment. They'll be very dynamic, if you will, about their intake of supplements. So if you say to me that you're going to take adequate amounts of supplements, which means doubling and tripling the amounts you take some of the time, then I think it's okay for you to um, vary your regimen from time to time. I vary mine on a regular basis because I'm constantly doing experiments on myself, observational experiments on myself. Not everyone wants to do that. But I do think it's important for people who are repairing their health, who are recovering their health, uh, to be quite consistent about the essential. That means the supplements that you must take in from the outside through diet and supplementation, because your body can't make these molecules. Vitamin C, ascorbate being the principal example of this. But essentially all of the essential supplements the word essential means, by definition, that the body can't make it, that it must take it in through diet and supplementation. And since most of us don't take in a perfect diet, I don't even know anymore what a perfect diet is, but since most of us don't take in a perfect diet and have perfect digestion and perfect repair, uh, immune defense and repair, and perfect neurohormonal balance and perfect stress adaptation to life and family and relationships. So there's a lot of moving parts. Um, and I think it's an interesting question that's an option for those who are highly healthy and not an option for those who are recovering.